Graham, really good to see you. Big question, what's gone wrong? <laughs> that is a big question. It's very difficult because the margins are so fine at that level that you can you have to start really analysing in detail you know what what happened in particular games the good things as well as the bad things and and I think that the you know what separated us against Italy and Uruguay was the quality of individuals so Pirlo um, Balotelli obviously in in the Italy game and our friend Luis Suarez um, in in the game um, against Uruguay. Is there something in England's national psyche that prevents us from going for it at the World Cup? Because we've seen with Holland in the World Cup, they've overcome some hurdles and they've gone for it. Uruguay clearly were hungrier and plenty of other teams are doing the same thing. What is it about England that stops us from doing that? Well, there's definitely a sense of inhibition, isn't there, that we're, we're not quite um, able to, to convert our, our energy, our enthusiasm, our individual ability into sort of consistent results. There's probably many reasons for that. I think there's there's the weight of history, there's the, the way we look at it, the prism that we as England fans look at things. We have such high expectation of, of, of our players and we also, we undermine or undervalue, I suppose, the teams that we come up against. You know, we all thought, well, you know, Colombia aren't going to be very good, but they're doing really well. You know, Chile are doing very well. Um, Uruguay losing their first game wouldn't have predicted that. So, you know, that, that means that the Costa Rica game for us is going to be a hard game in itself. Talking about the mentality, in Germany, their captain, Philipp Lahm, is revered because he's described as being one of the most intelligent players. Mm. He's intelligent off the pitch as well as on it. It's something you were berated for, almost, being intelligent and reading The Guardian and the rest of it when you were, you were playing. Is there enough of that in England and in the England squad? Well, it's a very good question. And I, f I feel that certainly, you know, you don't need to judge people on their academic intelligence. But what you do need to do is look at players as students and do we have the ability to learn and therefore are we able to learn how to make the right decisions. Football is so much about, at that level, is all about decision making, making the right decision, seeing the picture and, and making the right decision. Do you think this group of and players has that ability? Well, given, given what we've seen, we didn't manage the game as well as our opponents in either match. Um, we made some critical decisions that were the wrong decisions. Um, and if, particularly in the Italy game, where you know the, the, the left side of the pitch was very vulnerable um, in, in the first half, what did we do at half-time to, to deal with that? Because in the second half, not a lot changed. Can Roy Hodgson still learn? Because he, he, he really isn't one of the big stars of the, the management circuit, is he? Unlike Van Gaal and Prandelli and, and big Phil Scolari, he's not that kind of big character that maybe England needs. Well, from my point of view, he's absolutely the right man for the, for the job. He's got a wealth of experience. You know, he's, he's managed in, in all over Europe, um, you know, national teams, club sides. Um, had a lot of experience in England as well. Um, and I think the way he has helped develop this group of players, um, the way he's dealt with some quite difficult decisions, particularly Ashley Cole, um, you know, um, taking Luke Shaw ahead of, of, of Ashley Cole. Um, I think all of those decisions are, are made by a person that, that is, you know, has complete conviction in his, his thoughts. Lots to be positive about. Um, we, we gave a, we played, Played well in two matches, but we just didn't quite play well enough. I'm glad you remain an optimist. I wish you were still in the England squad. Thank you very much indeed. Really good to see you. Cheers, Matt.